When you hear about multi-streaming, what do you think of? You're going to be thinking of OBS, because there's ways to do it with that. Restream, StreamYard, and lots of other apps as well, including Melon. I've used all of them, and I always found there was a bit of a, um, a limitation in what I could do in terms of the quality sometimes. Or you had to subscribe and pay quite a bit of money just to get 1080p. 1080p should be the basic standard these days. If you want 4K, I understand you might have to pay for that. But just for basic 1080p, we've got to pay like 15, 20, 25, 30 dollars a month for that. This is where EVMux kicks in. EVMux, okay, that I only discovered recently and I am absolutely amazed by it. And anyone who's been on a multi-stream chat with me as well, they're like, whoa, this is serious stuff. This allows you to do multi-streaming to many platforms. And guess what? You get so much for free. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is evmux.com. Okay, there's a link in the description. It's not an affiliate link, by the way. I want to make that clear. It's just a link so you know where to go. Let me just show you what the pricing models are for it. Because at the minute, I'm using free. Just look at this. Unlimited streaming hours. Five gigabytes of storage, which matters if you're planning to like record videos and keep hold of them, which you can do on here as well. You can add overlays, you can have background, up to 12 on-screen participants. But here's the real thing. Just look at this. Full high def, 1080p. Multi-stream to five destinations. Just stop and think about that for a moment. Think about your... StreamYard, your Restream, your Melon, everything else you're working on at the moment. What are you paying for that right now? Do you even get a free option? What do you get with a free option? And what are you paying to just get 1080p or multi-streaming to more than two or three areas? The basic gives you a few more features, more storage if you're planning to record, but also it removes a watermark. I'm gonna show you the watermark, okay? I have to be honest, the watermark isn't that bad. However, if you are very, um, if you're very careful or care about your branding or the way things have come across, you might want to pay that. But even then, $20, okay, and this is, by the way, the annual price, the monthly price here is $25 if you were going to pay monthly. You make that call and decide what you're going to do. But let me now show you what you get when you actually have logged in. So here's just a test one I was playing around with. Uh, you can click into here. You can edit the title of it. I have to be honest, the title you have here doesn't really matter so much, if I'm honest. This is just for EV Mux in terms of how they do their layout. But if I go back over here, okay, so we're actually into this event. It could have been a test event, a real event, or whatever event you want to call it. I'm going to go to the broadcast tool. And this is Super, super genius stuff, by the way, okay? I am at the moment going to, well, at the moment, it's not connected to my webcam, but can you see the logo up here? Can you see that? That's the watermark you're gonna have. Let me just go over here to cam and mic, and I'm now gonna pick my cam. Here you go, look, I, I, I'm down here somewhere, and I'm here in, you know, up here on the screen. This is super, super good. Again, look, you can change your mic as well. Uh, you can decide on if you're going to have some extra features like noise suppression, echo cancellation. This is super good for the basic free model, right? Just, just, just reflect on that, okay? 1080p, and it's pulling the sound from my microphone. You know, hello, we're pretty good to go at the moment. Um, we also have the feature where I can do a screen share. Let me do that. I'm going to go for screen share and I'm going to pick window and I'm going to pick, uh, let's go for this one here. Let's just pick my uh, YouTube page. Okay. So let me just go over. So we've got the YouTube page here. Now, even though I have said share it, it's not visible on screen. Now to make it visible, you have to do, just do two things, but it's so simple. Over here, down here, I'm going to click add to stream. If you don't click add to stream, it doesn't add it. So that means that you could have like seven or eight windows open there and you decide when you're gonna show them. So rather than going, oh, hold on a second, I'm just gonna get this screen, which I sometimes do, which it doesn't look great. You can have them all open, ready for you. You might have some other people. You might have invited a guest. Look, let me show you, invite guest, right? I could send them that link. I could email them, uh, a Gmail, whatever you want. And then when they click that link, they will become visible, but they're not visible to the audience until I say add to streams. Look, add to stream. I could have just, so at the minute I'm showing that screen. 
I could, uh, let me just make sure I've added myself back again, like that. I could do like that. Look at all the options we have here. I mean, of course, you've got to have more people to do this option here. But I could even do that as well. So I'm shrunk down into the corner there. You can still see me, but you can see the screen as well. Or you could have me below as well. I mean, these options, I think, are ridiculously amazing. Now, I'm just going to add this and hide that one. So I'm just back again. I'm back in the room. Hello. Um, This is super cool. Like, this is free to use. I mean, I cannot explain just how amazing this is. I mean, look, you have brand settings. So at the moment, you've got my name down here. You know, um, I'll come back to this one in a moment, actually. I've got primary color. So this is where I'm showing my name in this kind of style down here, where it says Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. You could change that as well, have different um, styles as well. You can even have a custom one as well. I'm going to come out of that. Whoops. I'm going to put it back to there. You've got over here, now this is how text will appear on your screen. So if I go to social and I have over here in edit, oh, let me, let me go back a step, okay. If I go to edit, I have added in uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. If I click add here, here's what I can add. I can either do a custom RTMP, if you know how to do that, that's pretty simple to do, where you get your stream key and all of that and you can stream to another location. Twitch, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook. I'm quite happy with those. I'm only going to use the first three anyway. Let me just show you what you would have done if you had gone to Facebook. It will say, well, let's go to a page. And then what it will then say is, right, can you now log in? Once you've logged in, you pick the page you are going to um, present on. But at the moment, I can see that where this is going, and I've just given it a title like that. So if you want to give it a specific title, say for YouTube, when you go live, you would put that in here. If you were going to do a specific title for when you're live on Facebook, you would put it in here. So doing it over, say, here when you're on the dashboard, this is OK, but it becomes more important when you're here. Right. So when you've added them and you go live. So let's say I was to go live and click, which I'm not going to do right now. When people start chatting to me on my platforms, it appears here. Now, YouTube works fine. Facebook didn't work at first and I removed it and added it again and it was fine. LinkedIn, you won't get your live chats appearing on here at the moment and they're currently just working on that behind the scenes, EB Mux. So if you're going to have any chats coming through from LinkedIn, if you've got another screen, you might want to have that window open just so you can see any other chats coming in. But this is where it is super good. I can't show you live right now because we're not live, but if anyone wants to send me a chat, in fact, we'll do it here where it says EV Mux. Watch what happens when I hit show. Look at that. Can you see that right now? So if I'm now live and someone puts a message and I think this is a good message to share, I can click it and it appears on the screen like that. I mean, how good is that? And then you unclick it to take it away again. Let's go back to the graphics. Like, look, we have our brand. We have our, look, let me go with that design there. Go with social. Do you get it? Do you get the drill of what we're doing here? So you can start to mess around with your color schemes and what you're going to have. Um, let's just go back over here. You have, you can add a logo in as well. I mean, I, 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 I'm not, I, I'm not overly fussed by that. But if you want to add in a logo, you can. If you want to add in an overlay, if you want to add in a background, you can do. There's so much you can do. And in terms of background, I'm talking about when you're sort of like in this kind of layout. So you might want to have a particular branded background or a layout there. Super, super easy and cool. You can even do banners, right? You can even have a chat peer. Now, what this facility gives you is, let's say I've got like uh, people on the group, whatever, or I've got speakers and I want to send a message just to one person. I could literally go here and I might say, OK, um, I'm not going to send it to the group. I'm going to send it to one of my speakers or whatever. Say, hey. Sort your camera out or something like that, okay? I I just cannot I, I just cannot explain just how brilliantly amazing this tool is and the fact that it is free. I cannot get over that what you get here. Because I was using Restream. I was reusing StreamYard and OBS and stuff like that. And I was always getting frustrated to the point where I just started streaming just to YouTube mainly because of the cost factors. And I know people say invest in what you want to work with, but I would almost get frustrated. I've got to pay just to get 1080p. 
1080p has been around for what? I don't know, 16, 17 years now? Come on, you know, we really need to be moving on with things. So to have all of these features here for free, and of course, look, when you multi-stream, right, there's always a tiny drop in quality, but I tested it. The drop in quality was nothing like the drop in quality I got with Restream and StreamYard when I paid for their 1080p service. The drop in quality was so noticeable. The drop in quality here, I was asking my viewers, how's it look? And they were like, the quality is really good. This is really good. And when I told them, this is free. Now, if you're planning on multi-streaming to YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn for your clients or just to kind of like, um, hang on, let me just put it back onto this page. If you're planning to like talk to people, maybe showcasing your business or your services, maybe you've got many clients and you're trying to have a group meeting as well where you want to show them like uh, handovers and stuff like that. This isn't just for multi-streaming. Think of it of how you can get your business across. Think about how you can be more active on social media. Maybe you want to talk through a new development in your company. Just go live. You know, the video will be there on LinkedIn later on and Facebook as well, your page or your group or your YouTube channel. Evie Mux, there's a link. This is not an affiliate link, all right? It's just so you know where to go. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And of course, I'll keep seeing you.